ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to what quite possibly could be the finale of the Buzz Lightyear Star Command uh, Let's Play. I have made it to mission 13, and as uh, I've said before, uh, we do two missions, two main missions per episode. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I made it to mission 13, which is a uh, Planet Z. Uh, I, I guess it stands for Planet Zim. Uh, also, I'm using a, a, a face cam because, uh, you know, why not? <laughs> So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into mission 13. This quite possibly could be the finale. I ended up beating that uh, last <clears throat> level that I did, that I got stuck on, uh, it, which, uh, par for the course, it ended exactly how you expected it would. Just as just some boss battle at the end against the guy you were chasing down uh, that lasted like five seconds <laughs> with no music, so completely anticlimactic. But uh, here we go, Planet Z. Let's see what awaits us here. Oh, we're gonna be versing Zerg. Awesome, even though he doesn't all right, at all sound like how he does in Toy Story, but... We finally got a lock on Zerg's home planet. All right. Time to take out the trash. Okay. <laughs> Your mission is... Time to take out the trash. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz, 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 my little fruit fly. Why does he sound like Jim Curry? <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. He kind of had like a Darth Vader vibe to him in the movie, but... Uh, he doesn't look that bad, except for his eyes look a bit too goofy. Uh, don't you call me Buzzy Boy, Peter! I, uh... I, I don't appreciate name calling. Alright, so, are there gonna be any bombs? Because, like, this, this right here is his planet, so I don't really know why he would be trying to blow up his planet with his own bombs. Yeah, there are bombs on his own planet. Because continuity. <laughs> okay, so I'm just, uh, I guess I'll just chase him down. I honestly don't really give a fuck about, like, grabbing shit. He, he is really slow. I remember, like, in the, in the Toy Story 2 video game, when you versed him, you versed him in, in, like, the elevator shaft. And it was really creepy. He got stuck on his own enemy right there. Did you see that shit? <laughs> I'm not even gonna be bothering with these enemies, because, um,. They take, if you have the standard gun, especially, they, they take like a million hits to kill. Okay, so I have this heat-seeking gun. I'm not gonna waste this, this seems really good. Maybe I should be grabbing some other guns, cause I don't, I'm not sure how many shields he would have. So let me grab some money. He's pretty slow, so I'll hopefully be able to beat him, beat him there. I got a grenade launcher? Sick! Ha ha ha! Oh shit, there's a bomb. Somewhere. Oh, it's right there, I'm stupid. I'm taking a lot of hits here. This isn't nearly as hard as the, as the previous level. Not by a long shot. It's just like how the previous levels, I mean, uh, the levels before that one were. Need 95 for that thing. Fuck that. Just a launch pad. Get that health kit, see if I can grab a gun up here or something. Uh, I the shield gun, so this is useful. I'm not sure it hurts anybody though. I think this like refre uh, reflects. I apologize too for the lighting. I really don't have anything I can use to get better lighting in here, on like the webcam. So, oh wait, did I pass it? Ah, uh, no. All right. No, well, I should be able to reach in time here. Oh, it's right there. All right, cool. I guess I'll take this one. Um. This is very, this is some very intimidating music. If it, like Zerg is like the main antagonist, and like, is it just like that derpy little like whimsical, doo -doo 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 -doo, like orchestrated children's music, like in all the previous levels? Or is it, this this game is king at being anticlimactic. It really is. I think I already have that gun, so I don't think I need to grab it. I'm getting a lot of coins too. Ah, quit shooting me. That's a heat seeking gun. Oh shit, I gotta run away from those like electrical electrical things that zap you. They do a lot of damage. I guess I'll go for the green guys. I'm not sure how many medals I need for mission 14, so. Uh, oh, he went in there. Alright. Don't fall! Ooh. Alright. We're nearing the end of the course to the boss battle. So we're gonna be versing the main antagonist, Zoig. <laughs> Zoig. Oh. Damn it. Let me go. And, uh, is this the area? 
It's like, is that stuff like surrounding you? Maybe I shouldn't waste this gun, but I'm probably gonna need like multiple colored guns here. This is pretty boring, actually. Give me that health gun, I need that shit. I'm not gonna waste a grenade launcher, because God knows that, that does, probably does a shit ton of damage. More health kits, uh, where do I go from here? Oh. Once again, he got blocked by his own enemy, and I had to kill him so he could move. <laughs> and, uh, oh, here's the boss battle place, I guess. And I beat him to it, so his shield's gonna be, uh, like, damaged from the start. So that's good. Because the enemies just, like, stand still. And just let her zap them. See, yep, like he he, he could he could have moved any time, but he didn't. He could have moved at any time. All right. No, he only has two shields. Are you kidding me? What? What? I need a green gun. Just, just yeah. That was it. Okay, he's up in the air. Or come come back down here so I can shoot you. Yeah, use the heat seeking gun. He shoots like a machine gun, but... The main antagonist! Only has two shields! D fucking... I the last guy I burst had five shields! Like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that crap? <sighs> There's one more mission left. So... Maybe, like, I've versed Zerg in, like, his second form or something. I don't know. Mission 14, Planet Z. Okay. There's two Planet Z missions. Yeah, we're versing him again. Okay. <laughs> About to say. He fucking got his ass kicked the first time around. I gave it a zero. Okay, so killing him the first time wasn't finishing the job, apparently. Uh, yeah, I guess it wasn't. Let's, uh, let's hit it up. Last level of the game. Here we go. Hopefully this time he actually has more than two shields. Like, I want this to be hard. Alright, so here we go. Zerg's throne room. Oh, snap. This is gonna be like a straight boss battle. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's a straight boss battle. Let's fucking hit it. Oh, this is. This, I feel like I'm like in like a Ratchet and Clank game right now, except like there's no strafing or aiming. So, so a very bad Ratchet and Clank game. And this music is from Toy Story Racer. I know this song is from Toy Story Racer. This is the fucking theme of the uh, movie theater, uh, like battle arena level. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This is, this is this is the final level, and they fucking use recycled music. They they couldn't have like. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit this at all either. It doesn't. It's like, like some whimsical like music. Like we're we're facing Zer. We're facing the main antagonist. It's just do or die. Balls to the wall. Balls out. Dick out. Fucking just going hard. And no, we're we got whimsical. Little theater music. Okay, well, it's not exactly like the theme in uh, Toy Story Racer, but it's really close. Yeah, it has, like, yeah, very similar melody, same tempo. I guess I just gotta kill waves of enemies before he like, so he'll like drop down and um, fucking I can hit him because you can't you can't aim your gun upwards. Even even in Toy Story 2, the Toy Story 2 video game actually did have an aim feature. It had a feature where you, you can go in first person. You couldn't move, but you can go in first person and uh, aim your laser. That would be extremely helpful in this game, because there's a heck of a lot more, uh, like, shooting in this game. What gun is this? That's a I don't need a grenade. I want that heat seeking gun. And I got four, um, four monies right now, so... Oh my goodness, these little zappy tanks, they do so much damage to you, holy shit. Okay, I gotta use a grenade launcher here. Oh, come on! Oh, ugh. I was so far away from them and they were still zapping me. 
in previous levels they had like a set range. But they put in a cutscene if you fail the mission, so. Alright, well, we're, we're, we're not ending this episode till I fucking beat this mission. Cause it, this, this is the finale, goddammit. Like, like I said, balls out, balls to the wall. You, you won't be able, to, you not be able to see it right now. Uh, one, because the camera's all the way up here. Two, because I can't show that on YouTube. But my fucking balls are out right now, man. They are out. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, they're out. I um, don't really know how to follow up that sentence. But uh, we're gonna do it here. Gotta kill these guys. These guys barely do any damage to you. It's those zappy tank things you really wanna fucking avoid because they take a huge chunk of your health. These guys do shit for damage. I got, I've, I've gotten hit like 10 times by these guys and they. Is he dropping down? He's. Uh, hit him, hit him, hit him. Get some shots on him. Okay, got a little bit of health depleted from there. His health gets response, so that's good. This is kind of like rem reminiscent of like that uh, level in Ratchet and Clank at Crack in Time, uh, where like it's like raining, and you like you face that uh, lady who like kidnapped Clank on top of the Citadel, something like that. It was a really epic level. I mean, you and you could actually aim your fucking gun too, huh? How about that? Okay, so he drops down every time after each wave. I think I only hit him twice there, but uh, uh, damn it, these guys! Look okay, the health kit right there. Give me that shit. Die! Come on! God, I hate these Abby tanks. Why do they do so much fucking damage? Come on, drop down, bitch. Uh, I can't aim the fucking gun, because, like, if you... Ah! Uh, if you press, like, um... Like, he always shoots the, the direction he's facing. There's no, like, lock-on feature, so, like... Because of that, you're basically just, like shooting wherever he's facing and like um if you like tap the button it just like turns you like way too much if so if, if you like just need to make like a like a slight adjustment in the direction you're shooting you can't make that like a slight adjustment and he just decided to stop shooting for some stupid reason and okay, come down so I can shoot you there we go now I'm hitting him take that grenade launcher uh, what other guns are there oh the missile launcher they cost a shit ton, though. Why do they cost a shit ton? Okay, so we're facing waves of the guys from the first level. I see the grenade launcher. I'm not gonna shit about these guys. Die. I'm hitting you with the grenade launcher, too. Okay, slight adjustment. Here we go. Mm. Bam. Bam. That took some chunks of health right there, baby. These guys, they ain't so hard. Like these little Star Wars droids, dudes. Okay, maybe I should grab a health kit. That's ammo. I can grab that while I'm at it. Trying to remind myself to get the rocket launcher. That that, that does the most damage by far. I, I don't remember what like the icon for the heat seeking gun looks like, which that would really help because I would that I'd, I'd be able to hit him when he's like even up high. But I don't remember what it looks like, and I don't want to risk uh, grabbing the wrong gun and wasting my money. Okay, one more dude, and he's gonna come back down. I'll switch to the nade launcher and just whoop on him. If I could adjust myself here without falling down the fucking. Ah, I only got one hit on him, but whatever. Okay, that guy's dead. Collect some more cash. Let's see, that's the... no, I don't know. That's the flamethrower. Don't get that. That sucks. I think that's the heat, the heat seeking gun. No, that's the shield gun. I don't need that shit. Well, actually, it might help. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm, like, running away trying to grab health. I guess it could help. The heat-seeking gun, though. That's the gun that really helps. Or would help in this situation. You know what would help more than that, though? An aim feature. I apologize to you. You might be hearing my dog bark in the background. Not really much I can do about that right now. He'll stop though, just give him a minute. 
I missed my opportunity. Because he, 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 he that, that was a wave right there. He was going to drop down. He went back up, and he spawned more dudes. Damn it. Why do these guys take, like, more hits now? And you, you, you can't, like, they don't take damage until, the, like, their hit animation is finished. It's like, hit, hit, bam. Even though I shot him, like, 20 times. Okay, drop down. Take that. Eat that. Eat a dick. Hmm. Hit him twice. Fuck! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, I got the shield gun. God, there's, like, so many of them! Holy shit! Ah! This is the shield gun. Grab health, grab health. And they have, like, unlimited range. Okay. Ah! Die! They're fucking bouncing over him! No, not the... Grenade launcher! No, I'm gonna die! Ah! I gotta hit one more time. I'm dead. I gotta find a health kit right now. I gotta have the shield up. I gotta keep my ammo alive. Health kit! Okay, I'm just gonna farm some of these health kits here. This is actually pretty difficult, but not difficult in a challenging way, just difficult in like a annoying way. <laughs> okay, I'm wait for these health kits to spawn, because you pretty much have, can just like milk the time, really. It's the only level where you're not timed, practically. I guess these health kits just aren't gonna spawn with these uh, ammo crates, they just love spawning. Oh, I saw a health kit right there. Gotta keep the shield alive, though. Fuck you! Fuck you! God, I hate these ah tanks. Okay, he's coming down. Okay. Uh, come down. Drop down. All right. Fuck you guys. Okay, I think his flamethrower does do a decent amount of damage. Uh, kind of like thermal ice thrower. I don't know what the fuck it is. And now it's empty. Just shit for damage and shit for ammo. I, th this level's pretty bad, too, for a final boss battle. It's just like, you're not really even facing Zerg, you're just kind of facing his henchmen. It's just like, hey, you know how, like, previously, in, in the previous levels of the game, we just threw, like, a shit ton of crap at you all at once? Here's more of that. Have fun. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Uh oh! <sighs> I almost fell down the hole. That would have been GG. I think like two or three, um... Two or three waves of this crap and I should get him. As long as those stupid tanks don't spawn again. These guys are surprisingly easy though. Because they don't really even move. They take a lot of damage, but... Eh. Alright, Zora, get back down here. Bip. 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 Mmm. Oh, these guys are really weak to this thing. Okay. And out of ammo. Get, die! Die! Please! Alright, so I can center myself here. Mm. Bip. Okay! Got some nice damage right there. We're farming some health. Any health kits around here? Ah, oh, where's the heat seeking gun? Can I find that? I'm grabbing the missile launcher. The missile launcher. It's just. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna waste that shit, though. Boom. Bap. Eat. Eat ice or whatever this, like, Febreze spray gun is. Okay, ready to switch my. Uh, what is this? Okay, it's the rocket launcher. Cool. Eat it. Eat it. One more hit! He has, like, one pixel of health left. Not even. Look at his health bar. It's, like, empty, but he's somehow still alive. Okay. God, God damn it. Uh, okay, I have a lot of rockets left. And I'm not really gonna need that many to kill him, so. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me grab some health here, real quick, while I'm fighting these guys before he spawns back down. Alright, ah! Mm -hmm. Like, hooks upwards for some reason. 
about to beat him. What the f- oh. Alright. Is he dead? He has a shield on. Uh. Okay, so now I'm just fighting him. I need a yellow gun. I don't have a yellow gun. Shit. Now I got a yellow gun. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm actually fighting Zerg himself, and in typical this game fashion, there's no music for what should be a pretty climactic boss battle, but it isn't. So it just comes off as being incredibly awkward and silent. Of course, this shield actually is really strong. Ah! Okay, so now I gotta dodge shit while I'm shooting him. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, damn it. Where'd he go? Did he just say hey? That's his hurting sound effect? Hey! Stop! Don't do that! Jeez! <laughs> uh, I'm still pretty decent on health, but I really gotta stay on top of it here. Pretty sure his gun actually does less damage than like his little zapper dudes. Like the little zappy tanks. Hey. He says hey! Did you hear that? You suck. Do I have any other green guns here that I can use? Besides the standard. Uh, no I do not. Whatever. Standard guns. It's okay. It doesn't even sound like the voice he has in the show. Like, what the hell is this? Is this like, like a misplacement of like an audio file or something? Hey! Hey! Oh, I gotta be careful not to fall down that thing right there. Kind of when you fucking stop moving, buds like slide like two feet forward. Okay. Last shield's almost done there. Alright, rocket launcher time. Eat it. That's grenade launcher, hang on. That's shield gun. That's flamethrower. That's rocket launcher. Let me grab some health real quick, though. So we're about to beat this guy. About to beat the game here. Boom! That. Didn't do much damage. It's really not doing any damage, huh? Did I hit him? He made the. Oh, yeah, it is damaging him. Okay, he's just really strong. Oh, speaking of strong, I gotta grab health. Uh, where's the shield gun? I need a shield gun. Shield gun, please. I have like six guns right now. And the, only, the only way you can select them is a sequential, uh, sequential order. Let right, me regroup here. Rocket launcher. I mean, the rocket launcher does the most damage out of all the guns, I'm pretty sure, so. Hey! Hey! Hey, what? Ow! Jesus. I don't want the fucking flamethrower gun, it sucks. Electrical things are surprisingly hard to dodge, they have a pretty large hitbox. Just don't fall down the hole. Gotta, mm, gotta keep my distance from that. This is so anticlimactic. This should be like the big epic thing, because you're like versing Buzz. I mean, Buzz. You're versing Zerg now. But it's just like. It's just. Silent with like some electrical things coming by. And then just Buzz. Not Buzz, Zerg. Is going, hey! Like, is that actually supposed to like be his hurt sound effect? What the fuck's my shield gun? I need it! Alright. Like, is that like his, like, intentionally programmed hurt sound effect? Like, what- who made that choice to use that as his hurt sound effect? There's these missiles where he's seeking, that would help. Ah, oh, Jesus, man. So glad I'll be able to end this let's play though. Cause this game, it just straight up on us. I've gotten sick of this game. There we go. We beat Zerg. Yeah, we uh, we beat him. Let's watch the last cutscene, I guess. Snap. The missile it is evading our lasers. But how could it know our targeting 
system. It has passed through the shields. Where's I don't know what to add to this, though, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Great guns. Uh, maybe if, like, Patrick Warburton was speaking to this cutscene, I'd be able to add something. Wait, was something else? There's something else? Oh, it was just loading a different cutscene. And the missile blew up and then Buzz died. He risked his life to save Star Command. Congratulations! Uh... Yeah, that's it. There goes Megamind. There goes a... A raptor looking creature. There's the Invader Zim looking guy. There's no music for the end credits. Uh, yeah. That was the game. It just, just ended on Buzz riding a space torpedo to his death. It just paraded the villains now. And there's Zerg. With his weird, like, cross, cross eyed red eyes. Dude from the first level. And now it's just kind of repeating, walking around the circle. This is how it closes it out? I can't believe it's like, made like a cutscene where they like showed like, uh, Buzz like riding on the missile or something. And, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe added some fucking music? Voice talent. Yup, there it is! Patrick Warburton! Ha ha! Yeah. Definitely a pretty talented voice actor if I... If I do say so myself, Cusco. No more, no more, does it just keep going until you hit a button or no? And, uh, it's going back to the title screen. You may not notice it, but that Activision, like, logo cutscene actually has a higher frame rate than the game itself. <laughs> I've noticed. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of the, uh, that's, that's the end of the game. Yep. Uh, no music. No, no climax. My, my balls are still out, but... They're they're blue as fuck. It's just, just, just unfulfilled. Yeah, that's it. That, that's um, that's all there is to it. All right. Well, uh, thank you for joining me for this let's play. I uh, had a lot of fun at the beginning. Not so much near the middle, and definitely not near the end. Because uh, um, as great of a voice actor as Patrick Warburton is, he just couldn't save this game. <laughs> I think I'm actually check out the show though. See if it's actually any good. But, uh... Yeah. Um... Pretty much all I gotta say. Uh... As far as Let's Plays go, I'm bringing back Saturday Night Short Track, which is my, uh... My NR 2003 uh, Let's Play series. Uh, and hopefully I'll be able to crank out a new, um... Episode of Saturday Night Short Track. Hopefully every Saturday. And, uh, I already have the next episode recorded, which is at, uh, Bristol... So, um, I'll have that up on Saturday. This is Saturday coming up. And, uh, I guess we'll just go from there. Not really sure what the next big Let's Play series is going to be. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Uh, I do like to keep them, uh, kind of, like, within, like, the genre of, like, older, uh, movie, animated movie tie-in games. Stay tuned for Saturday when the next episode of Saturday Night Short Track comes out. And, yeah. That's the end of the Let's Play. Thank you for joining me. Fox of Fire signing off.